Hi everybody, welcome in. Thanks for being here. This is the Connected Conduit. I'm going to do a collective reading and um, it's going to be a love reading for you guys. And the message that I'm getting and the energy that I'm feeling is that um, there's just this energy of ex like communication in the air. And I'm getting the song like eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. <laughs> so I just feel like somebody's on like the brink of communicating with you on the verge of sending that message. Um, as I scry in the water, I see like an old school telephone ringing <laughs> and somebody answering it and smiling ear to ear. Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out the best way to come forward. Five of Swords. Yeah, there's this energy of like, oh, is it too late? Seven of Swords. Seven, five, seven. Eight, six, seven, five. <laughs> that would be amazing if that's those numbers came out, hey? <laughs> well, we've got seven five here. We just need three oh nine. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Knight of Swords. It's like yeah, fast, urgent, impulsive, quick communication. The energy that's coming through. Somebody doesn't know whether or not they've ruined things, like ruined their chance with you or not. Tell us more about this person. I don't know why they're making me laugh, but they are. The hangman. It's, yeah, there's been a delay. There's been a pause. There's been a wait here. Tell us more. Okay, five of pentacles. They miss you. They've been out in the cold. They could have abandoned the situation, or you may have, or you both did. Okay, the, for some of you, this person ran. I'm getting like a spooked horse feeling. <laughs> Temperance, that's like a healing angel. Things coming back into balance. Again, it's more like patient waiting energy while things sort of alchemize and come together. The fool, that's a new beginning. So somebody wants to come in for a new beginning here. Okay, for a lot of you, this person you have not been in contact for quite some time and I believe their imagination is like running away with them. Five of Cups. They definitely feel the loss. There's a lot of regret here. And this person is trying to figure out the best way to come forward and communicate with you. So let's see. What does this person plan to do? What does this person plan to do? What are, what are their intentions? Oops. The magician fell out and we've got the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck so this person is trying to manifest you they have repressed feelings that they've hidden what else what are their intentions how do they plan to come forward ace of pentacles that is a solid offer a solid offer coming in with an offer Sorry, I'm laughing because I just heard it's about damn time. <laughs> it's about damn time. Oh, goodness. Sorry, my stool that I'm sitting on is super uncomfortable and I'm a little bit fidgety right now. Anyway. The Empress and the Eight of Swords. It's like this person has been stuck on you for quite some time. Unable to forget you, unable to move forward, but I feel like they've been unable to reach out for some reason. Why have they been unable to reach out this whole time? Why has this person been unable to reach out? Three of Wands, because they've just been waiting. <laughs> this person's making me laugh. I don't know why, but um, they've just been waiting. So for some of you, it's like maybe they were hoping you'd reach out um but they've been stressed about this incredibly stressed up in their head worried about this situation 
This person is definitely afraid of rejection. I'm picking that up. Have some insecurities around self-worth. I mean, if they see you as the empress, you're, you're everything and then some. For some of you, this could be long distance, so they just didn't know what else to do because you guys were across across an ocean or, you know, pretty far away from one another where you couldn't see each other. But there's definitely been an energy of just waiting, feeling stuck and just waiting. But I feel this energy is shifting. Yeah, there is definitely distance between you. It could be physical emotional yeah what does this person want to say to the viewer because it looks like they're coming in okay to communicate and i see quick impulsive communication here with the knight of swords what is the knight of swords page of swords yeah, so that's like, hey, how are you? I haven't heard from you in a long time. How are you doing? How have you been? What have you been up to? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. What is this solid offer this person is bringing in? Oop. Four of Cups. Seven of Wands on the bottom. Oh, okay. So for some of you, are you going to reject this offer? <laughs> okay. Wait, what's happening here? What's happening here, Spirit? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Hi, Priestess. Oh, gosh. See, Spirit doesn't want to say. <laughs> Cheeky. Um... This person is, you know what I was saying earlier, how they were afraid of rejection. So that's just coming through and they're having to tap into their intuition to see like, you know, what, how they should come forward with and with what, what offer they should come forward with, how to approach you in order to basically not be rejected. They want to bring an offer in. They're trying to tap into their intuition and figure things out from a distance. Um, and they're hoping that they won't be rejected by you. Some of you may, some of you may reject this person. How is the viewer going to feel about this offer when it comes in? Four of Pentacles. So you might be a little bit shut down, closed off, not wanting to let this person in. You might be protecting your heart. Can the viewer trust this person? Can the viewer trust this person coming towards them with the Ace of Pentacles? I also feel this is their energy, not wanting to let you go. Like you were an amazing opportunity. Three of Cups. So some of you, okay, some of you might wonder if there's a third party situation going on that you don't know about. Or perhaps this person put you in a third party situation before and now you're you're just a little bit worried that they're going to do it again. Clarify the, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups can also be like a reunion energy and friends and family and support. So it can be read so many different ways. That's why I'm going to clarify it. Can the viewer trust this person? Knight of Pentacles. So that's someone who's super steady. They take a long time to come in, but when they do, they're they're in it for the long haul. Steady Eddie, good to go. Want to this person wants to commit. They want to put in the hard work. So yeah, I think you can. It's just for some of you. 
for some of you, you're going to be thrilled when this comes in. And it's this person's energy who's worried about rejection. They've been hanging on to you. They think of you in a very, very high esteem. Um, they see you as somebody they will want to spend time with and invest in. They see a future with you. And some of you will accept this very willingly and be very happy about it. And I see others of you, because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for everyone. Others of you may be a little bit nervous about this person and unsure whether or not you should really trust them and open up. But Spirit's saying they are stable. They do want to put in the work. They do have a lot of feelings for you. But again, you have to trust yourself and follow your own intuition, right? Always. Okay, what does this person want to say to the viewer right here, right now? Right here, right now. Queen of Swords. This person really wants to talk to you. Oh my God, King of Swords. We have Page, Knight, Queen, and King. Holy. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to put in the work. What does this person want to say? I'm hearing, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm hearing it shouldn't have ended like that. It shouldn't have ended like that. Wheel of Fortune. It's about cycles. Time. Karma. I'm so sorry. It shouldn't have ended like that. I've learned my lessons. I've had my karma from this. Ah. King of Wands. I know what I want. I know who I want. I want to put in the work. I want to invest in this. I'm ready. I'm ready to take the next steps towards our future. Ten of Cups. I'm ready. I'm ready to take the next steps towards our future. Ten of Cups. I mean, come on. That's beautiful. Yeah. So this person is definitely planning on communicating with you. There's so much sword energy out on the table. And it's totally going to be up to you. Use your intuition. Tap in. For some of you, you're going to be thrilled to hear from this person. For others of you, you're going to be a little bit guarded, hold back. But Spirit gave us the Knight of Pentacles for their energy, which is long-term, steady, and ready for commitment, ready to do the work. So, but as always, it is a general reading, so you're going to have to tap, tap, tappy tap into your own intuition, okay? Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Oh, I'm hearing I treasure you. I treasure you. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing for some this person had a narcissistic mother. Ooh. I'm putting those back. They fell out weird. It is safe for you to love. See? It's been confirmed again, twice. It is safe for you to love this person's grounded, stable, wanting to put the work in. They're ready to build a beautiful life with you. 10 of cups. Yeah, I'm just feeling this person is extremely excited, but also very, 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 very nervous. Yeah, I can feel it in my heart space. Like my heart is racing right now. I'm hearing expect communication soon. Expect communication soon, okay? Yeah, I mean, look at all the sword energy. This person wants to talk. They've got something to say. That's a lot of air energy. 
Swords are transactional communication. This person has an apology for you too. So it's totally up to you as always, whether or not you're going to hear this person out, you will know if this person is right for you. Um, but if you're feeling a little on the fence and unsure, Spirit says, it is safe for you, darling. It is safe. It is safe. Okay. I'm going to leave this message here. I hope you found it useful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.